welcome. Um, I tried to upload a video before this, but something happened halfway through it. Yes, I got interrupted by somebody. So, um, I'm going to have to do this all over again. Um, so, I'll carry on what I was. Because, so, I'm going to be doing... Uh, Top five or top six to do uh, Tom Baker, but top five with every other doctor on how on what stories are best. So I I, I went with uh, an earthly child. Um, Dalek Raid of Earth. Um, the War Machines. Tenth Planet. Uh. And what was the last one? Oh yeah, the Romans. Um, so I'm trying to catch up with what I was. Um, John, uh, Patrick Shouten. I went with Enemy of the World. No, it wasn't Enemy of the World actually. It was over here. Um, yes. I'm sorry, but this part of the video is going to be a bit boring for you guys. I saw is us two invasion. War games for and fifth one. Ah, the two in the side, man. And John Pertwee was spearhead from space. Inferno, the Daemons, Planet of the Daleks, and Planet of the Spiders. Tom Baker, I was in the middle of Tom Baker, so uh, I'll carry on from here. So you know what my top five of them is. So uh, anyway, top five of top six of Baker actually, because um, I'm doing six of Baker because um, he he was quite a long doctor actually, wasn't he? Sorry about that. I'm sort of trying to remember what I did last time. Um, so yeah, um, Tom Baker. I said Genesis of the Daleks. Pyramids of Mars, and I was going to talk about the Talons of Wang Chiang. So yes, um, Talons of Wang Chiang um, is a brilliant story. We got Tom at his best imitating Sherlock Holmes, basically. Um, it's an invitation, it's one box set. Um, I'll catch up with the others in a minute. But yes, that's that's um, that's Tom Baker. Um, with room oh hang on a minute how, how many have I just done Genesis one two three ah two more um the key to time box set it would have to be the androids of Tower I know it's not a very good story but I like the way it's sort of it's sort of a past story again So yes, um, with Romana 2, it's going to have to be the City of Death. The City of Death is a fantastic story. I'd recommend getting this. Um, it's, it's, um, it's got, um, oh, I've forgotten his name now. Uh, Julian Glover, there you go. Uh, uh, it's a fantastic story. And Tom's last season, ooh. I have to be the Leisure Hive or one of the um, the space trilogies. Um, I'll go for the Leisure Hive. They're all fantastic stories in their own kind. So, uh, yes, so we've got Genesis of the Daleks, Pyramids of Mars, that's two, Times of Wang Chiang, three, City of Death, four, Dungeons of Tower, five, and the Leisure Hive, six. So yes, Peter Davidson is next. Peter Davidson, as pictured on my canvas. He has done pretty marvellous stories, to be honest. Um, starting with Castro Valva, obviously, and all the way through the ending. Um, after that, it sort of went downhill, really. I know it's Colin, but um, anyway, moving on. 
Um, Peter Davison's best. Black Orchid, fantastic story. I know it's a two-parter, but I have a soft spot for this. Um, we see something different coming to Doctor Who. It reminds me of the Unicorn and the Wasp somehow. From modern era. Earthshock. Fantastic story again. Um, would that be in my top five there? The Five Doctors would be one of them. It's a fantastic story. I'd recommend getting this. Um, yeah, okay. Black Orchid, again, a fantastic story. I'd recommend this. So that's two. Earthshock, again, a fantastic story. Um, what else can I say? Um, why is it the cheap? Um, it's sort of got a different side to it. Um, Kinder's an interesting story. I'd recommend Kinder. Because, um, uh, sort of a dark feeling to Doctor Who, that one. Um, Arc of Infinity. Mm, interesting. Time Flight is the worst episode in Doctor Who in the history of the mod classic era, actually. I know people are saying, oh, it's, it's good. I know that people say it was terrible, but I, I say it's the worst story. Uh, the graphics are seriously not very good at all. But the best story for Peter Davidson, and I think half the classic story people would agree with me, is. Um, where is he? The Caves of Anjazani. Visitation is one box set. Caves of Anjazani. It's a fantastic story. Again, we see Peter brilliantly at his best, dying in his arms. It's also an iconic story for um, Perry. Oh, Doctor! Anyway, yeah, it's an interesting story. But the iconic moment for most people is looking at um, looking at Perry's cleavage. Yes, I know the boobs were quite large and hanging out in that scene. Peter Davison was on the floor. Bless him doing his best when everybody was too busy looking at Perry so yes my best stories would be Five Doctors Earthshock Black Orchid Kinder and Castro no not Castro Balva I mean Kinder and Gianni Castro Balva is pretty good though I'm not buying it I don't mind it you know the second worst story of the classic ever. Well, let's not talk about that anyway. Let's pretend that's not there. So, Colin Baker. Colin has done some pretty good stories. I'm not dissing him. Attack of the Sidemen. It's a fantastic story. Um, so that'll be after me in my top five. Um, the Mark of the Rani, again, classic, brilliant story. That's two of them. Time Lash, again, a fantastic story. But then there's the two Doctors. Shall I compare? And don't forget the Trial of a Time Lord season. I know, I know Vengeance and Varos, for me, I don't like it. I couldn't get into it. It's just not a story I'd like to see again. Um, that creepy guy, what's his name? Forgotten his name as well now. Um, Sil, there you go. He comes back in Trial of the Time Lord. It's nice to see him again though. But I just got annoyed of him. He's just, he's just always, I don't know, something different with him. He he looks a bit creepy himself, but you know, it's Doctor Who. Everyone's creepy in Doctor Who, aren't they? Um, so yeah, Attack of the Cybermen would be number one. Mark the Money, number two. Uh, time Lash. Three, the two doctors, four, and I'd have to go with one of the trial of a time. Was one I? You can't just miss that out, can you? It's it's the biggest box set of them all. Um, but I don't know which one. To, so it'd be one of them. One of them. I'd recommend watching all the time. I can't even speak. I've no. I haven't watched one of them yet. I know. I know. I'm doing a marathon, and I haven't even watched that. I've done two marathons and I missed one out because I, I totally forgot what day it was and I forgot what episode I was on. But yes, 
So um, Colin Baker's error would have to be attack the Cybermen, Mark the Rani, Time Lash, the two Doctors, and one of them from Trial of the Time Lord. Now coming on to another a brilliant, oh blimey now, a brilliant Doctor. Sorry, I nearly fell over there. <laughs> um, oh Sylvester McCoy, the Time Lord Rani. It's not best. Let's just 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 move that aside. Delta and the Bannerman. I recommend that story. That's a brilliant story. I, I've got a soft spot for that again. I'm not in. I don't, I'm not keen. Too keen on Mel. I prefer Sylvester with Sophie Aldred as Ace. So, um, members of the Daleks is going to be my first. Everybody likes this. If you don't like this, then there's something wrong with you. Yes, but Silver Nemesis after that is again another fantastic story. Remembrance and Silver Nemesis are two brilliant stories. So yes. Then you got Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Then you got Battlefield. Then you got so many others. It's just hard to choose to be honest, the top five. Cause there's four there, there's five actually there, there's five good stories there, look. There's five good stories right there, look. Delta, Remembrance, Silver, Nemesis. Play the show and Battlefield, but then you got Ghost Light, which is a bit odd. I don't, I'm not keen on it. Curse of Fennet, again, fantastic story. Again, you got Survival, which again is a fantastic story in its own kind because it's the last um, story to do with the classic era. And then you got the Happiness Patrol, it's just too much to. I don't know, it's dragging me down. This is. Paradise Towers, let's just forget about that, that's the worst story I've ever seen from Sylvester's ever. That's even worse than Time of the Marnie, actually. Bin Liner? Who the fuck's... Why did you name yourself after a bin? A bin bag. <laughs> Unfortunately, moving on to Paul McGann. I'll have to go with the audios, actually. So, obviously, it's going to be... Is it the Night of the Doctor and the movie? Because they're two brilliant stories. And suddenly my just tired just wanted to open the door. So Paul McGann. Um, Doctor Who the movie. Number one. Uh, mm, time, Night of the Doctor, is it? Uh, yes. Um, Telefirm. It's got to be a fantastic story. I recommend getting that one. Um, zooming in. Telefirm. Scherzo. I haven't listened to that. Natural History of Fear. Have I actually listened to Scherzo? I don't know. The Twilight Kingdom. I haven't listened to yet. Better Dark's Part 1 and 2. They're, again, they're two good stories. Uh, if you combine them into one, I'd recommend getting them. That's um, that's two, isn't it? Dead London, mm, Max Warp. I got that given to by a friend. Um, I haven't listened to it yet. Um, so yes, uh, Lucy Miller to the death. That's basically one story. Again, I don't know to be honest. But moving on, moving on. I'm not being any helpful here, am I? I'm doing top fives, and I can't think. I can't even think of Sylvester Stallone. Remembrance of the Daleks has to be number one. Silver Nemesis is number two, Delta and the Band number three, The Curse of Femic, number four, Battlefield number five. I'm sorry, but it's just just so much. I'm on this one at the moment, Invasion of Time. I'm getting half I'm the in between my marathon right now. So moving on to the new air, as you can listen here from the music behind. In the background, we have Christopher Eccleston's first season. And his top five his top five are going to be Rose, just because everybody loves it, and it brings back to class uh, the, the modern era. First time is it? Unique Dead? Nope. Aliens of London and World War Three. Let's combine them into one and say that's the first and that's a great story. Let's see a modern monster. Dalek again is a fantastic story. So that's three. Uh, the Long Game. Fact. The Empty Child. Doctor Dances. Yeah, let's put that into it. That's that's four. I know these are two sto uh, sto uh, stories, but um, they're combining into one, so I'm sort of doing both here. Um, disc four on this. 
Bad Wolf part of the ways. He's got some really good stories there. Not just from Russell, but from Stephen Moffat himself. Moving on, David Tennant's first season. Um, without looking into it. New Earth? No. I'm sorry, but New Earth. For, it's, that's just a bit of a drag, actually. Love and Monsters? No. Fear Her. I like Fear Her. I've got a soft spot for Fear Her. The Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit. That's a fantastic story. Um, Doomsday and the Army of Ghosts. That's another good story. How many of you have just said now? Um, Rise of the Cybermen and um, Age of Steel. That's a good story. Yeah. I don't know how many I've just put from there. Rise of the Cybermen, Age of Steel. Doomsday, Army of Ghosts. Fear her. Satan Pit. And um, did it slant him enough to be a brilliant story? Oh, wrong story, wrong, wrong series. I mean, wrong story. Now, the complete third series. Not many like the third series of Doctor Who, but um, I do like Martha Jones, I have to say. Rose Tyler, I thought she was brilliant with the Ninth Doctor, but she just caught on with the temp. She just got so infatuated with him. It's just like, God, get a room, will you? For God's sake, go back to bed. Just, 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 just leave the TARDIS. I don't want to see your face anymore. So yes, Martha Jones. I must say the Christmas special was good. The um, Voyage of the Damned and the um, Runaway Bride. They always do a good Christmas special until the um, until the Doctor with the Widow and the Wardrobe, and then they just become worse. Um, so yes, um, Daleks take Manhattan. No, I, that's got a bit of a downfall on me. Smith and Jones is a fantastic story. So that's one. Shakespeare Code, two. Utopia, three. The series finale, four. Fifth one. Fifth one. Um. The Lazarus experiment, I'd have to say. Um, complete fourth series. Um, ooh, fourth series. That is David Tennant's best season. But it's also uh, the end of the er an era, to be honest. Still on Earth, Journey's End. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, actually. Complete specials, I'm not really keen on the specials. I'd go after the end of time and the, uh, and the planet of the dead. Uh, with the specials, you get Dreamland as well, which is an interesting one. I do like Dreamland, not many like Dreamland. But I, no, it's not really a Doctor Who counterpart, is it? Well, it sort of is, but um, Matt Smith's error. Series five, a brilliant error. Series six, nope. Series seven, part one, nope. Series seven, part in interesting. So series, series seven, part one. Series seven, part one. I mean, series. I can't even speak. I'm confusing myself right now, guys. Somebody kill me now. Season, this first, um, oh, I don't know actually. The eleventh hour is a fantastic story. Beats below, no. Picture of the Dark, again, it's an interesting story. Time of the Angels, again, it's a good story. Vampires of Venice, no. Amy's Choice, that's an interesting one, that is. The Hungry Earth, Cold Blood, and no, I can't stand the Silurians. I know they brought them back, but that's not very good, is it? So yes, so seven, so six. Um, not very interested. Peter Capaldi's done a good first, a second season now. Um, the Magician's Apprentice, and um, under the under the lake, would you say? Zygon Aversion is Zygon Invasion. Good story. Um, Hellbent, Heaven Sent. I actually don't like Heaven Bent. Um, I'm, I'm I'm I quite I quite like it. It's an interesting one. Uh, Face the Ravens, good story. So yes, thank you very much for watching. This is my top fives. 
Um, they're not really top fives, are they? They're just. I'm just ranting about Doctor Who right now. So yes, as my mum and dad turn up, I'm going to leave you guys to it and um, go back to where I just belong. So thank you very much for watching this good old rant. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I might do a bit more ranting in the future. It's something different than doing um, something different than doing um, reviews of my collection. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'm also going to look into the future of my stories. Um, of course, I've done the New Beginnings box set individuals. Um, I haven't done any of these ones yet. I'll be working on them in the future. So I'll be going like one at a time. I'll be talking about Tenth Planet, and the Water Menace, Moon Base. We'll do them one at a time. See how it goes. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and goodbye.